Hello everybody and welcome to the vlog. As you can see, I've just finished work. It's just about to get out of the day. Finishing work. I've got the rest of the day to myself. Ah, back in the car. Back in the car. Thank you. It has been a bit of a trying day today for me, but you know, like my patience. But uh, yeah, just finished, like I said. Um, God. Literally, we were closed for one day, and it's been absolutely mental today. Just closed for Easter Sunday. It's Easter Monday. For me personally, if if I had the right, if I had the power, I would say close today as well. Yeah, so getting away from the besides the point of the crapness, um, I, I'm going to be doing a, a bit more vlogging at some point um, today. Um, I've literally just realised I finished at I finished work at two o'clock in the afternoon, which means I've got the entire rest of the afternoon to do whatever I want. So I'm thinking, like I said in the last vlog I did, which was yesterday, I uh, basically said I was going to do my uh, part two of the vlogging around Hesel Foreshaw. I was going to do that tomorrow, but I've actually thought to myself, I'm actually going to do that now or today, get it out of the way, and then I've got all day tomorrow to pretty much either if it comes to edit it or I've got you know I've got the time. Tomorrow, because I'm off tomorrow, obviously. So, anyway, so I'm going to leave you now. And next time you see me, I'll be down the foreshore again for part two that should have been a few days ago. Also, the amount of looks I'm getting talking to the camera. I understand it, it, it you know, it had to be a special case of person to, uh, to do what I'm doing now. People might think I'm being a bit strange, a bit deranged. Um... They're not far wrong. They're not far wrong. But yeah, literally the amount of looks I'm getting from people passing in the cars is absolutely hilarious. Anyway, see you in a minute. Back home. I'm not naked. Get your filthy minds out of the gutter. Look at that. That's a Manchester. That is a Manchester. Anyway, as you can see, I'm just getting changed and uh, apparently I'm getting a new hard drive for my laptop today. Um, my dad said just now, don't I go get a hard drive? I thought, okay, why not? Uh, yeah, broke or not broke, I need one. <laughs> all dressed, all dressed. It's been fitted, so I just have to wait till later to see if it actually works. Off to Hesla Floor Show again, like I said earlier in the, in the vlog. And, uh, yeah. Finally get to do this part two. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, I'm on a <laughs> I'm on a playing field again, as you can tell. And uh, it's fucking muddy and waterlogged. It's been raining all day today. Um, well anyway, almost there. And uh, yes, let's go do that! I'm in Little Switz. Every time I come here, it's always fucking raining. I'm absolutely drenched again. Um, it was actually hailstoning as well on the way here. Um, but in the Call of Duty, I'm back getting drenched for your entertainment and for your laughs. Uh, anyway, so I'm back in here. Um, so what I'm gonna do like I did last time, obviously the original video you never saw, so, what I did in the original video in here, um, I skipped this whole walkway halfway in. So, that's what I'm going to do again. So, I'm going to pick this up at the point where I left off and then continue from there. Right, as you can tell, that's the playing field or the field that I passed before. So, now I'm going into the. Set these off. <laughs> That's better. I can hear now, probably. Anyway, so coming in to the more...
denser part of Little Switz. It has been really heavily uh, raining, uh, as you probably would have touched, what I would have seen maybe in the, some parts of this. Um, but yeah, it's been really heavily raining, and there was a few p points when I came the other day, and it was completely submerged in water, and I just want to just double check and see how if it's any worse than it was. Okay, so I'm now at the. I've just cleared the playing fields and come through there. Now this is the point that I documented in the last part, and uh, obviously the last time I came here when I tried to do the part this part two before, um, it didn't exactly go to plan. And holy crap, that looks a hell of a lot worse. Right, basically, I got to this point and I discovered this. It's actually a hell of a lot worse. Stop. There's a bloody load of branches right in the way there now. Holy crap. Anyway, uh, yeah, there's this pond, as you can tell behind me. But basically, there's a pond here, and it's completely submerged and completely taken over a footpath. Look at that. There. So these are the stairs, look, going down. Then the footpath, as you can see where the fencing is, goes right round there and gets you somewhere up there, okay? Now, as you can see, it's completely submerged. It's a hell of a lot worse than when I came the other day. And there's actual branches and shit in the actual water. That was all clear last time I came. Um, so there's the pond over there. It's just absolutely amazing of how it's just been completely taken over. That is completely, you know, you just can't get through there at all. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go through this little bit of wood bit here like I did before and hopefully there's something I'd like to show you unless it's been moved um, or you know you won't be able to see it anymore but somebody was cooking their dinner in here at some point somebody had made a fire um, which way did I go? Um, made a fire and everything and I actually discovered the fire and it was just in here somewhere so as you can see I mean it's very densely built up bit of woodland and I, I don't know if I've completely missed it right so I found it um, see that's the fire that I found the other day yeah it's just amazing if you venture off the main trails what you can actually find So the bit that's my favourite in here is literally just round the corner now and it's just a big pond and picnic area. The last time I was trying to do this video I mentioned that uh, in the call of duty I messed up one of my trainer shoes or one of my shoes. So I'm going to show you now the actual mud puddle. See how badly uh, waterlogged it all is round here look. 
at this puddle that's got like twice as worse as since the other day or yesterday that is just mad yeah and this is the puddle that I uh, almost that I knackered my shoe in I don't think it's a very good idea to go through this do you okay so I've had to climb up a bit of a ridge and uh, I'm now on the upper bit just above where the pond is um, I'm gonna try and get down there but it's so waterlogged around here it's unbelievable As you can see down there, <laughs> it's really very, very water thinking over there. So I'm going to try and get down there anyway. Okay, so I'm down. So that's where I was, up on that ridge. Um, this usually isn't this full, and it's quite unreal um, of how much it's like taken of most of the uh, the ground. See over there, look, that's that's the pond, and it's just completely overtaken a lot of land mass, and I can't really get any any further because it'll I'll end up getting friggin' stuck. Folks, in a nutshell, is Little Switz. Um, I can't, unfortunately, for some reason, it's really waterlogged in here. So, I'm gonna have to bring this vlog to an end, unfortunately. As you can see, I'm right above the trees and everything now, kind of like on a higher ridge. Um, and that's it. This is just like another footpath that leads from where I've just been. And it comes right round and back out that way I've just come from. So, that is pretty much all a little switch in a nutshell. And uh, it's not starting to rain again, it'd be nice. Uh, I don't really mind the rain personally. People think I'm strange with that, but well, I probably am. I like the rain. I find it very. I don't know why. I just I like the I like it. I like the sound of it when it hits the trees and it hits the ground. Um, I like the smell that it gives off on you know like you know that smell that you get. Um, and it just wakes me up, you know, because I've been absolutely maffed in hot at work and everything. So it's very nice and refreshing for me. But anyway, so I found some stairs, or uh, whatever, so I'm going to get out of here. Remember when I said in the last video that I said I found a dismantled push bike that was in a random place? Well, I have found a wheel. I don't know where the rest of it's gone. Um, there's one wheel, just like buckled. Actually no, that's the front wheel. That was up against this wall. Um, so that's the front wheel, there's the back wheel, and there it is, so that's the chassis, and two wheels scattered down there. Yeah, right. Strange, somebody took the time to detire the wheels, we've got no tyres on, one's buckled to the point where it's possibly been crashed, uh, and then dismant dismantled and place down here. Yep. Okay. Strange. So, I'm finally going to say bye to you. <laughs> I was just, I, I wasn't expecting to find the push bike, so so glad I was able to. So the, the two things that I uh, put in the original second part video that went complete, that was deleted and my laptop broke during editing it. Um, I was so great to be able to show those two things, which was the, the fire that I found and that weird push bike dismantled and just wherever. But anyway, until next time, bye.